Diorio's Frozen Dough Products presents East Utica Now and Then. Just like in Italy, many of the Italians in the Mohawk Valley have little gardens brimming with vegetable plants and fresh herbs. With an abundance of local garlic and sweet basil, Malio shares a simple recipe for fresh summer pesto. The traditional way of making salsa de pesto, pesto sauce, is with a mortar and a pestle, and that took hours and hours to do. Today we have the convenience of a blender. So today we're going to make our pesto sauce, which is made with basil, with our, our blender. Uh, and we're going to pick the basil fresh from the garden. Fortunately, uh, we're doing this when uh, the basil is at its peak. So we'll pick the basil today, come right in, and we'll make the pesto sauce. Most of the ingredients that go into uh, pesto sauce are made in the blender. You can put everything in the blender and make it in a, in a minute or two and that's, and that's it. However, we have a little bit of a different twist. I'd like to saute the garlic in a bit of olive oil with a bit of hot pepper. Uh, and this gives the uh, garlic a non-raw taste and I think that's a little better. The only thing is you have to be sure you cool the uh, garlic and the oil before you add it to the pesto. Uh, that's very, very important because you don't want to parch the basil. And all the ingredients, including the basil, uh, maybe two or three uh, tablespoons of uh, butter, uh, some grated uh, Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, and if you don't want to spend that much money, you get uh, pecorino cheese. Uh, salt and pepper uh, go into the blender and you blend it until it has a consistency of uh, heavy cream, approximately. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit thicker than heavy cream. Uh, what I usually do is I extract maybe a cup or a half a cup of the pasta water after it's cooked for quite a bit of time, at least half the cooking time, and use it just to lighten the sauce in case it's necessary. And all you need is a few splashes of it. Uh, you cook the uh, uh, spaghetti al dente, of course, never overcook the spaghetti. Uh, drain it, uh, put it back in the kettle with a few dabs of the pesto sauce. Uh, and after it's well mixed and you put a little bit of the pasta water in to lighten the sauce, plate it, uh, put more pesto sauce on top, add the pignoli nuts, another dash of cheese if you like, and serve it to your friends and neighbors. Oh, take me back. My childhood dreams